ACA Reporting. Employee Navigator has taken the pain out of ACA reporting with our simple but powerful ACA product. When it comes to ACA reporting, the IRS needs to determine whether or not each eligible employee was offered health coverage and if it was affordable. Because of this, any ACA reporting tool needs to do two things, eligibility management and complete the 1094 and 1095 reporting requirements. We've got you covered with both. Last year, we filed over 1,000,000 1095s. Let's check it out. From your HR dashboard, click ACA. ACA classifications are going to drive the eligibility for your employees in the system. Let's take a look at one way to add ACA classifications for reporting. There are three different ACA classifications that can be given to your employees. Eligible, ineligible, and variable hour. We'll help you classify and track these classifications throughout the year. For some variable and ineligible employees, you will have to import their hours into Employee Navigator. You can import hours for those employees under Manage Hours. Hours are imported on either a monthly or daily basis and typically come from either a payroll or time and attendance system. Before importing hours, the company needs to determine their measurement periods, which we'll look at now. Employee Navigator uses the look back measurement method to determine if your variable hour employees have worked enough hours to be considered eligible. For the new hire period, we are recommending a 12-month measurement period with a one-month administrative period. However, this can be modified in certain scenarios. Employee Navigator has hard-coded the 12-month stability and measurement with a first-of-the-month hire date. We're also recommending a two-month administrative period. Now that measurement periods have been added, you are able to manage your employees using the eligibility dashboard. Click into the Eligibility Dashboard. This dashboard shows variable hour employees only and is broken out to show employees either in their new hire period or their standard stability period. As you can see, there are currently five employees being measured. If we click into a specific employee, we can see details like ACA classification, measurement and admin periods, and hours worked. The goal of managing eligibility on our platform is to have the proper employees receive a 1095. Only eligible employees, meaning those employees that have the ACA classification of eligible or variable hour that worked enough hours to be considered eligible, will be receiving a form. Now that you have managed eligibility, let's talk about how you are going to get the proper codes to populate the forms. Click into Assign ACA Plans. Assigning values to your ACA plans will allow us to derive codes for the 1095C. We need to know certain things about the plans to generate those values. These checks are broken out here and include items like, is the plan self-funded? Does it provide minimum essential coverage? And is child coverage excluded? We can generate the proper Line 16 codes by either looking at enrollment information or by assigning safe harbors. You can assign different safe harbors to different classes, departments, or divisions. That means one class of employees could use the Federal Poverty Level Safe Harbor and another class could use the W-2 Safe Harbor. Now let's take a look at the ALE calculator. Click into ALE Calculator. The ALE Calculator is going to be helpful for companies that are not sure if they are in ALE or not. Remember, ALEs, or applicable large employers, are required to file 1095s for their eligible employees. Our ALE Calculator allows you to determine if you have 50 or more full-time employees, including the calculation that determines which employees are considered FTEs. 
Next, let's check out the affordability calculator. Select your low cost plan. The affordability calculator allows you to test if the cost of the employee coverage is affordable based on the rate of pay safe harbor. In this case, the company has three employees that are not being offered affordable coverage. In order to be compliant, the company can either increase contributions or give pay raises to those three employees. Now that we have seen how to add ACA information and manage eligibility, let's click into the employer settings. The employer settings tab is where you will find out the information that will be populated on the employer's 1094 form. Once you have completed the employer setting information, the next step is to actually generate the codes. Click into audit e-file. Our goal is to surface added and missing information so the data used to generate the codes is good data. The audit and e-file process is a four-step process. Start by verifying plan assignments and employer information, then audit employee demographics and enrollment data, preview the form data, and finally e-file. We have partnered with a third party called Nelco to assist us in printing and mailing the 1095 forms to employees, as well as e-filing the 1094 and 1095 forms to the IRS. Now that we have walked through our ACA tool, here are a few things to remember. Hours for employees can only be imported using our monthly or daily import template. We are using the look back measurement period to determine if your variable hour employees have worked enough hours to be considered eligible for their benefits. Good data equals good codes in the system. That's why we have our audit process. Our filing fee covers printing, mailing, and e-filing for both 1094s and 1095s. And that's it.